Munir Ajam, another video on project management terminology and uh, the wonder of explaining some of what some of the term we use means. Um, in this video, I'm going to focus on the concept of output versus outcome. Um, if we read definition of projects and guide like the Pumba guide that tell us a project is a tempor temporary endeavor undertaken to create it, to create a unique product, service, or result. So if we read this definition and we hear this definition, it's basically it's talking about an output. Is that at the end of the day, when we are done with the project, we are producing a certain output. If it is a facility, we call it the product. If it is a consultancy or a service, we call it a service project. Or if it is the output of some kind of research, like a book or manual or something we call it's also as an output so that's an output of the project now technical project management over the years unfortunately have been focused only on output deliver an output deliver a house deliver a software deliver a school deliver a uh, new product we're gonna sell uh, gadget and uh, you know maybe a rocket to get us to Mars uh, whatever the case is is that is an output now when we look at project management from project owner perspective client type organization as sometimes we refer them to a uh, they are not in the business of outputs yeah if you are a petrochemical company you are in the business of producing petrochemical plant not to have plant that's sitting there you know shining in the night uh, these plants are there to produce product, product that we want to sell, and when we sell it, obviously we expect profit. So basically, we're looking more for an outcome, a result, a benefit. Uh, obviously, building a plant itself is not a benefit. It will give us the capabilities to produce product, to generate pro revenues and profit, as we just mentioned. So often enough, when we look at project, we cannot for you know we focus on the output and the technical and the product, but we don't focus on the outcome. In other words, we don't focus on why are we launching this project. Again, we're talking about project owner perspective. Yeah, we launch this project, the uh, management and top management and organization and board and partners and shareholders of companies approve project because they expect benefits they want to realize benefits now these benefit could be commercial return on investment or if they are government entities or non-profit maybe they are providing a service to the community or to their citizen but there is a benefit and um, so what we need to do and unfortunately again guide like the Pumba guide and others in the past have not focused on the concept of project benefit realization and success obviously project success project objective success is directly linked to realizing the benefit you expect them when you launch the project so we often what we do we do project and we launch project and the project are completed and we might be happy and we celebrate if we deliver on time or on budget or or within the parameter of cost and schedule uh, budget, uh, cost and schedule parameter and then we're happy in success and yeah 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 but however yeah what happened if we deliver this product and nobody uses or we deliver this product the product and it failed in the market so at the end of the day you know we're not there to produce product again project owner we are there we want to realize benefit and therefore we need to consider benefit management and how we realize the benefit and how we measure success and for us project success the ultimate object you know beside technical success or product success or uh, project management success the ultimate project success measure for us is that we have delivered a product or a service that results in benefit to the organization that launched the service uh, launched this project now in this thing in this case these uh, realized benefit and the project success measure have to be tangible things like 10 percent return on investment 
uh, or I want to reduce staffing by 20%, or I want to improve efficiency by 25%, or I want to cut my schedules, uh, my average project schedule by 10%. So these are specific measure, and unless we achieve them, then we have not realized the benefit, and then we can question whether the project has been a success or not. Okay, so output versus outcome. One is about physical or a product, an out, you know, a result, uh, I mean, sorry, a product of delivering something where uh, outcome is about the benefits realization related to that output. Have a great time. Until the next time.